welcome back to another video over the past few weeks we've been busy with multiple projects in the Asebu pan-african village and ajadam today i'm excited to take you through all the incredible work we are doing so for this video we'll be looking at the foundation work of a five bedroom one story building roofing work of the two bedroom house on the hill modifications made to the massive one bedroom house foundation of a two-bedroom semi-detached building another foundation of a three-bedroom house and then finally we'll be looking at our first ever project in the Asebu pan-african village which is the three-bedroom house it's been quite a journey i must say working here and i would like to share with you in one video all the work we are doing i must say this is going to be a very lengthy video with lots of information so stay glued and watch to the very end thank you Starting with the story building, this is a five bedroom, one story, or some people will say two story building depending on the location you find yourself. This project saw a little modification to the original plan by an extension as well as an introduction of a basement or a garage. So this required the whole building plan to be redone. Among other plots available to the owner, he decided to have the building done on the highest elevation so as to avoid flats. Regarding that, we had the option of cutting and leveling the land or just building along the slope. The owner being concerned about not having the soil structure disturbed with heavy machinery, he opted for us to build along the slope. So we started off with the profile, did the marking of the grid lines, dug the foundation to the required depth, spread the damp proof membrane, set all the right sizes of steel for the columns keeping in mind the different orientations and then cast the foundation concrete. After, we've gone ahead to start the block work, but because of the depth of the foundation and also building along the slope, we've had to lay the blocks on the flat side for more stability as you see in the video. We did encounter few challenges such as the inability to have material supplied because of continuous rains, which made the roads almost trouble. And this caused some delays to the work. Um, talking about rains, I have an experience of serious flood that happened some time back here in the Cebu Pan African village, which I'll share towards the very end of this video. So do you know, stay glued, watch to the end, and then uh, learn about what did happen um, when it rained. Moving on to our next project, this has to do with the two bedroom house situated on the hilltop. After the superstructure was completed, there was the need to have it roofed so we went ahead to get the woodwork done and then finally had it roofed for the woodworks we used both dahoma and other hardwoods the woods were treated and then installed it took about a week for the wood installation to be done and right after we went ahead to get the roofing done as well so for the type of roof we chose to work with the hip type and for the material we used a 0.4 millimeter thickness long span wine colored rough surface roofing sheet so let me just take that again so we use a 0.4 millimeter thickness long span wine colored rough surface roofing sheet installation took two days and everything was done Aside from that, we went ahead to do the remaining block works to close the space at the top front of the building. As it stands now, we are yet to begin the internal work such as the electrical piping, plumbing piping, plastering, fixing doors, burglary, and windows among others. Next is the massive one bedroom you might have seen in past videos. The building did experience a little change, so the owner was in Ghana for about a week some time back. And after seeing how huge the building looked just for a one bedroom, he requested if we could convert it into two bedrooms instead. I must say the changes came at the right time as the latrite was well soaked and we were actually getting ready to have the oversight concrete cast. So keeping in mind the changes, we created a beam for um, the walls or some of the walls for the um, additional room. And then did the plumbing works and eventually had a floor concrete cast so it took two days to have this phase done aside from that we've gone ahead to start the block work for the superstructure and then the columns have also been cast 
um, after this video was recorded we will soon be proceeding with the lentil and then uh, blocking up to roofing level so our very first ever project at Ajedam also took off a two-bedroom semi-detached building we as usual did all the necessary work and then started the foundation digging then installed the improvement brain did a setting of pillars and then the concrete uh, works were done started off with the block works and so far we have blocked the entire foundation to the desired height cast all the columns and then began filling with latrite we are left with some few more latrite and then we'll be ready to soak uh, the soil before the oversight concrete is going to be cast next will be our first ever project in Asebu, which is the three bedroom house it has really come a long way and the owner has been super excited about progress made so far from my last video on it we had done the roofing woodwork and then the roofing itself i did promise to give details about the cost of the roofing in a different video so let me share all those details now so for the roofing we used a 0.4 millimeter thickness long span roofing sheet with a deep sea color so the color you see is deep sea and also having a very smooth um, surface the installation took about three days to complete and it did cost 42,000 cities for just the roofing sheets installation as you can see the roofing um, has about three levels and this did take quite a number of wood for the woodwork and then after that the roofing sheets came after aside from that we've gone ahead to store burglar proof and security doors do the second and third phase of the electrical installation do the ceilings skim the entire walls both internal and external and finally install a solar system yes a solar system so for the burglary the owner chose a very simple design and for all the windows it cost a total of 12,800 cities for fabrication transportation and then installation the security doors which are quality Turkish doors made up of two double front doors and then one single kitchen or back door cost an amount of 20,900 CDs and were installed when the plastering wear was being done. For the plastering, we used a total of 115 bags of cement for both the outside and the inside. It took almost two weeks to finish including dressing of the windows and then installation of the doors. The total cost was 32,235 cities and this includes the materials that is sand, cement, wire board for scarf, transportation and then labor. Before the plastering, we did the electrical piping and then the plumbing piping. So for the uh, plumbing, we used PPR for uh, the service line and then high quality PVC pipes for the electrical piping. So the total cost of this phase, that is both plumbing and electrical piping, cost 9,978 cities and it took about three days to be done together. So the cost covers both uh, labor as well as materials. <music> We did proceed with the second phase of the electrical installation, which is the electrical wiring right after the doors and burglary were installed. And this was important because electrical cables usually get stolen if there isn't any form of security in place. So before you do your electrical wiring, make sure you have burglary, make sure you have your doors installed, make sure there isn't any openings to you know the internal part of the house to um, be able to steal the cable so this is very important when you're having your building done now for this phase it did include the use of various cable sizes such as 1.5 millimeters for the lightning and then fan system 2.5 millimeters for all the sockets and then you have four millimeters for the ac system the cooker unit as well as the water heater and then finally 60 millimeters for the main electrical distribution and then we also had some tv cables in there we did make provision for a solar system when this phase was being done and the total cost of this phase which is the electrical wiring was 20,400 cities and this was for both materials as well as labor the ceiling then came we chose to go with plaster boards over pop because of cost and weight among other factors so for the plaster board we used 9 millimeter thickness plaster boards of about 46 pieces in quantities 
then the accessories such as corner molding, perforated corners, omega, main channel and respective powders among others. The installation and Android took about two weeks to complete and it cost 28,700 cities for materials, transportation as well as labor. We did the outside ceiling as well. For the outside ceiling, we used plastic tongue and groove, popularly known as TNG. So if you've been hearing TNG, TNG, and didn't know the full meaning of that, it's simply tongue and groove. And we have the wood um, part or wood type, and then also the plastic type. So for what we use for the outside ceiling, we use plastic. And um, we use the Ghanaian made ones, and the total cost for both materials and labor was 7,500 cities. After we skimmed the walls, that is both internal and external um, walls, for an amount of 8,000 cities, and this covers both materials and then labor. So, for the materials, we use the skimming powder. There's a particular skimming powder where there's no need to add any home charm to it, so that's what we use, and it's uh, good to use that for outside it rains and it doesn't wash away the uh, skimming that has been done so that's what we use for this particular phase next was the third and final phase of the electrical installation this included the electrical fittings such as socket switches light fans and cooker units as well as the earth electrode and lightning arrester i'm sure someone may ask if it was really necessary to install a lightning arrester for this house well the answer is yes and simply because comparing the cost for the solar system which i'll come to shortly it is a very significant you know investment and therefore there was the need to have a lightning protection device as well as a search uh, protection device to protect it and all the electrical appliances that will be used in the house should there ever be any lightning there or power set so that's how come we install the lightning arrester for this house now the total cost for the final phase of the electrical works was 22,500 cities and this covered materials and labor this well this would have been a little bit uh, lesser if we hadn't done the um, lightning arrester i think that system alone did cost about i think almost 5,000 cities so the lightning arrester itself the copper tape which was the uh, expensive part of it because it's measured in meters we use about 25 meters each meter is 100 cities and then you have the other accessories that is also the earth electrode so for the lightning arrester uh, installation you use a different earth electrode for that and then you also use a different earth electrode for the entire house now earth electrode is simply the earth rod we normally um, call so that is how come uh, we have this amount for the uh, the final phase of the electrical installation. Now let's move on to the solar system. So we've installed a 5,000 watt 48 volt system, which is made up of a hybrid inverter, a monocrystalline solar panels, lithium ion battery, and all necessary accessories. We used nine pieces of 460 watt solar panels and then a 100 AH lithium ion battery um, with 16 cells. It took two days to do the installation as the rains did interrupt to work a couple of times. And the installation was done by myself with the assistance of others. So we used um, roof clamps in mounting the rails and panels. So there was no drilling of the roof as you know uh, from past um, installations. I actually go against the using of drill machines to drill the roof because this introduces you know leakage in the whole roof roofing system. So. We actually use roof clamps. We found some roof, used roof clamps to be able to hold the rails, and then that helped with the installation. Now, the total cost of the solar system, which is huge, it was 50,700 cities, and this did include all the materials. So the panels, the battery, the inverter, the rails, the clamps, the cables, the connectors, and all other accessories that was needed for installation excluding labor yes so it doesn't this amount doesn't include labor now talking about rains and interruptions it brought to some work with it it is also fair for you to know about an extreme flooding incident we experienced after a very heavy downpour on a particular day in the same pan-african village which brought down a fence wall and then had all the water flooding the compound of the three-bedroom house
so as you can see from the videos that is actually what happened when um, the uh, you know rain for a longer time a fence got broken and then the water just kept trooping into the yard of the building so this is a Cebu Pan African village it rained for just a few hours and this is what has happened so far you see the level of the water by the car now look at this look at that so there's a fence over there which has been broken by the water and just look at that there's a stairs that goes down and it's even been covered by the water i haven't seen anything like this here before this is really crazy so this is what it looks like over here you can see the level of the car over there and this is what it looks like over here now i have to go move my car because of the level of water so you can see the level of the water by his feet so this is how serious it's got i have to go move my car because of what is currently happening so i don't have any issues or challenges the level of water was almost close to my knees and because of this there was a need to do some spreading of latrite on the compound um or yes on the compound of the house to prevent any more floods so we did just that and so far we've not experienced any more floods from the numerous rainfalls we've had and this was possible as you realize from the very beginning we raised the foundation of the building during construction so then uh, it is very important for you to take or be on the lookout for almost any potential problem when building especially flat so when putting up your building just take a look at the uh, surroundings and you know build accordingly so then a very simple tip for you is to be on the lookout for almost any potential problem especially flats when building and put in necessary measures to mitigate that now to conclude we are currently working on another three bedroom house which has had the making of a two bedroom basement as a result of the slope um, slope nature of the land and i'll be sharing more details about that with you in different videos so for now i'm going to bring this video to an end thank you very very much for sticking and staying to the very end of this video i'm sure it has been very insightful you've gotten a lot of information from it so do let me know your comments and don't forget to subscribe share and like the video as always thank you once again and see you in the next video